Hey, I'm Jarrett, and this is Shadow and Light. Uh, so today, guys, I'm gonna be watching a video in Premiere and just kind of trying to do like a voiceover for what you guys are looking at and just kind of go over. So basically, I decided to do like a um, a commercial for my boudoir photography business for 2023. And what I did was I recorded some behind the scenes footage of me filming and shooting. And so I just wanted to kind of go over all of that stuff. Um, but before we get into that, let's, uh, I'm gonna hit play on this. You won't see anything I'm doing until I've edited it in, but hopefully it's not too hard for me to do. Um, so I'm gonna hit play. Hopefully it doesn't bog because I'm also recording over here. Okay, so guys, this is a video that I recorded and finished for just one person who wanted to um, participate in the commercial experience that I wanted to put together. So uh, I hope you enjoy this video. I might cut some sound over top of my voice, right? So you won't hear me much, but after this, we're gonna look at that BTS footage of the video. Did that like transition with the, the whipping? It's kind of fun. Took a lot of takes. Guys, it, I think I had like 40 different frames of video for this to even come together. And I think it's, it's not a lot of frames put together, but it's a lot of trial and error. Okay, so now we're gonna hop into that BTS here. And uh, we, I think we started with the robe for the most part. And here's kind of like what I got from what it looked like I was filming. So it's kind of interesting to see like what you can accomplish from what everybody else's view perspective is to like the finished product. So I thought that was pretty cool. Kind of a similar thing here. Shot this in slow-mo. I think it's like 30 frames per second, but like slow down by four times. I don't know, the slow-mo's in my camera, so I have the Nikon Z6. Um, I just switched to mirrorless, I don't know, like six months ago, maybe even not that long ago. And honestly, it's been really cool for video, really good for photo. There are some downsides to it, like, um, it's not very good in low light, like, excuse me. <coughs> like it can see well in low light. No, it can't see well in low light. It does take some decent photos in low light, but for some reason, like the camera can't see things in the light. I don't know how to explain that. I'm sure there's like a technical reason and I could figure that out and look it up and stuff. But we shoot from the heart here. I don't know anything about technical stuff. I'm just explaining to you the best way I know how. Um, but yeah, just more of the same here as we go through, um, this bit is <coughs> like a little bit more time intensive. I'm just going to drink some water, um, for the video, but, uh, but yeah, um, so the cool thing is I switched between photo and video while I was shooting this stuff. Um, mostly video because, you know, this was all for the, the Rudar commercial. But there's like a little switch, you know, you could slip between photo and video. You could do this for your clients. It's pretty cool. Um, and we just did quite a bit of like random stuff, moving the, <laughs> moving the tripod. It's actually a GoPro and a light stand. That's what I'm recording the BTS with because it's got a really nice run speed run time like it can record for a long period of time um, and like as you can see I'm doing like so many takes and passes just trying to really get that right shot like between like her doing the pose and me actually filming 
we just like had to come in the middle for this collaboration and make sure that like what she's doing and what I'm doing like works together in unison speed and framing wise it's a little bit more tricky than photo I would say so hats off to all of you videographers out there who are just killing it because it wasn't easy and I've done this multiple times and it's still not that easy so um oh and so actually soon here we're gonna be coming across some photos I took during the shoot because I took like a, like a handful of really cool images. I actually posted this on the, my Instagram page. Go give that a follow. Becoming a part boudoir. I, I, like Roman numeral for two. Uh, Cause my original Instagram page got taken down by Instagram. Cause they said, I don't like you anymore. Like get, get out of here. <laughs> um, but yeah, just let you guys watch this a little bit more. And we'll just, chatting about it. You hear my dogs in the background. Maybe. If you listen carefully. Favorite part about the studio is that dangling light bulb right there. I actually feel like I want to move it. Okay, so here. So we're doing the photo. I've got the, you know, the information up here. So you guys can see kind of what that info looks like and like what settings we shot this at but yeah they all turned out really good I'm using that light behind her to kind of grab some highlights and then it creates a really cool effect um, and I'm like just directing like I'm sh like if somebody doesn't quite understand I'll use my own hands to direct poses Exactly. Um, and then I just like kept walking her through it, kept explaining, kept reassuring that, you know, we were getting the shot. It's just taking me a while to make sure I can get it. Getting that focus while moving the camera is kind of hard too, but we knocked it out of the park. Oh, and then I found some like free music online and I just tagged the artist. Pretty cool. I think some of the best parts of the behind the scenes is me just doing <laughs> the poses myself. It gets kind of funny sometimes when I'm doing them. I hope I add some music in here to this because it's, it's kind of like too quiet. We need some we need some sound, right? So, 